Okay, in the last class uh, we had uh, some discussion on crop production disk. Our entire course topic is um, weather forecast in agriculture and agro advisories. For that, you have to consider the crop production risk. There are three risks you have to consider. Again, coming to this class, you have to consider weather sensitive crops, weather sensitive crop stages, and weather sensitive farm operations for developing your agro advisories in response to weather forecast. So, this area also must be given very important or must be addressed very precisely. So, let me move to the next area. What is weather sensitiveness? So, weather sensitiveness can be defined as under a prevailing weather, the crop growth gets stopped, closed, stopped. When we were discussing about the cardinal temperature, the minimum temperature required for barley oats is around 3 degrees centigrade. So, here is the weather sensitive. Suppose the temperature is 1 degree or 0 degree, the crop does not germinate. So, weather sensitiveness can be defined as under a prevailing weather condition, the crop growth gets stopped or crops so sensitiveness to unfavorable weather. That is very, very important. This may be for a crop, entire crop. Apple tree cannot be grown in semi-arid climate, one example. So, it is weather sensitive. And also crop stages. You take wheat crop. It does require a cool temperature during its vegetative stage from germination. If the temperature is more than 20 degrees centigrade or 24 degrees centigrade during daytime, the vegetative stage gets affected and your yield also got affected. So, in the case of the wheat vegetative stage, the rice in the flowering stage, so for different crops, different stages are there. Those stages are weather sensitive. And the particular farm operations, farm operations are also weather sensitive. So, we were discussing about dryland agriculture. In the absence of the rainfall, can you go for sowing and dryland? It is impossible. But under an irrigated condition, you can take up sowing with the groundwater support. So, this is weather sensitive farm operation under your dryland agriculture. Now, weather sensitive crops. Now, as I told you earlier, the climate influences the distribution of crops over different regions of the world. And hence, temperate crops are sensitive to weather that prevail in plain areas of the tropical climate. It's understood. We were discussing over and over on this subject. Example, apple, plum, broccoli of temperate climate have weather sensitiveness to tropical climate. So, weather sensitive, see accordingly we have to prepare our uh, agro advisories based on the weather forecast. That we will be detailing very much uh, during our later classes. There are weather sensitive crop stages. A particular stage of a crop is weather sensitive to weather that prevail during crop growing period. For example, cotton is being grown across the different countries. When a bowl bursting is there, it may occur under 2, 150 days. If it rains, it is highly weather sensitive. So, accordingly, we have to develop our agro advisories. Suppose if it is raining during bowl bursting, postpone your picking. Go for next sunny day for harvesting. Like that, you have to prepare weather sensitive stages. Higher maximum temperature during vegetative stage of a wheat crop, I told earlier. Cloudiness that prevailed from flowering to mature stage in rice crop, very, very important. From flowering to 15 days earlier to harvest, there must be a sunny day. They say that the radiation must be available to the rice crop to make the grains highly productive. So, you will be getting more yield if it is uh, there. Otherwise, your yield will be get affected. Then, primordial initiation and over development and burden size net in coconut are sensitive to soil moisture availability. 
Soil moisture means again uh, under uh, dry land situation it is with rainfall or under irrigated condition it is with ground water. Ground water is mainly controlled by your rainfall received in a particular climate whether it may be arid climate or semi arid climate or subhumid climate or uh, your humid climate or perhumid uh, climate. Then prevalence of low minimum temperature during pod formation stage of groundnut I have left it pod is there pod formation of uh, stage of groundnut. This I had a good experience with this crop. When I was uh, working with uh, some Indian research station, uh, I could see that there was no pod developed in groundnut across more than 10,000 hectares in a particular district. The constant uh, extension officer asked me what might be the reasons. We were examining so many reasons. We don't know what was happened earlier. Interestingly, after review of literature, I could see that the minimum temperature during pod development stage is very, very low. Your pod may not develop. Then we examined our local records. Interestingly, there was minimum temperature below 20 degrees centigrade during about 20 to 30 days that made the crop sterile. So, this pond formation stage is very sensitive to your temperature. That is the information to be absorbed. Then weather sensitive farm operations, as I indicated earlier, a particular form of operation of a crop is weather sensitive to weather that prevailed during the crop growth stage. This was discussing about dryland agriculture. Another one we have discussed already in detail when we were studying the wind windward direction and leeward direction. Windward direction means from the area, from that point, wind comes, leeward means wind goes. If you make plant production chemicals, dusting or spraying, again, opposite to your windward direction means there is a drifting. It may fall on the person who do the operation. He gets poison, number one. Number two, there is input efficiency is getting reduced. So these are all weather sensitive form operations and the prevalence of cyclonic wind and rainfall during harvesting of rice. This is very important because in India about 43 million hectares uh, we have rice. If a cyclone exists means we will be losing our uh, production very greatly and there is a uh, crippling problem for our uh, food availability and uh, food uh, and demand. Now these are very very important. So as I told earlier crop production risk must be considered before developing agro adversaries weather sensitive crops, weather sensitive stages, weather sensitive farm operations have to be considered meticulously for developing 100% effective agro advisories. Thank you very much.